Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm one of our Red Panda Keepers here at Culture to Zoo. And today I'm going to be telling you a bit about our pair of pandas as we celebrate International Red Panda Day. I'll also be revealing the weight of our female Whaley, who hopefully you have all guessed a few days ago. So here at the zoo we have two red pandas. We have our female, Whaley, and she is 12 years old. And we have a male, his name is Anan, and he is 14 years old. Now our pandas are fairly easy to tell apart. Whaley is a little bit smaller and a little bit darker than Anna, and we think she has a bit more of a surprised expression on her face, whereas Anna looks a bit more like a teddy bear. So red pandas come from western parts of China, Himalayas and parts of Nepal, and they're well adapted to the cooler weathers. So as you can see on Whaley here, she has that beautiful fluffy coat, but she also has a nice fluffy tail as well. Now our pandas do stand out quite nicely against the green leaves here at the zoo, for where they come from out in China, they actually live in trees that grow red moss and a white lichen, and that makes them extremely camouflaged. Now red pandas are quite a specialised animal, with around 95% of their diet consisting of bamboo. So out in the wild, they can actually eat around 20,000 bamboo leaves in a single day. Now here at the zoo, we actually cut our pandas fresh bamboo multiple times throughout the day. Out in the wild, they may also eat any insects, small mammals or birds that they come across. But here at the zoo, we do feed them something called panda cake. Now this is a high fibre dry feed that we mix with water. It contains digestible nutrients, which provides them with the appropriate vitamins and minerals that they need. But we do also treat our pandas to a little bit of fruit, and this is for training purposes. So today I will be weighing our female Whaley who hopefully you guys have been guessing her weights over the last couple of days, and I can finally reveal what it is. So she weighs 4.4 kilos. So comment below if you got your guess correct. Unfortunately, red pandas are now classified as endangered, which means there are estimated to be around 2,500 left in the wild, and this is due to them facing many different threats. Now one of which is predation, which is from other animals such as snow leopards, but also deforestation from the human population growth. They also suffer at the hands of humans through the illegal poaching for their fur and that beautiful tail. Climate change also impacts the vegetation and affects the red panda's food source. But we do support the Red Panda Network charity within our charity, and this works out in Nepal to help protect red pandas and their natural habitat. They work with local communities and are part of research which helps conservation. So I hope you have enjoyed learning a bit about our pandas. And if you do have any questions or you'd like to help support our charity, then pop along to one of our red panda encounters at half past three every single day, where you'll be able to meet one of our red panda keepers. And if you have any loose change, then donate towards our charity. As without your help, much of this conservation work would not be possible.